Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, welcome to Torn's Thoughts. Today, we're doing a ghost story. <gasps> An impossible photo of something ghostly. So, here's the thing. Uh, when I was home at Christmas, I was talking to my moms, and uh, she told me about this ghost story uh, where her boyfriend lives. Um, he lives in Pennsylvania on a road called Mudlick Hollow. So if you want to Google like all the stuff about Mudlick Hollow, feel free to go to do so. You just have to put in Mudlick Hollow, Pennsylvania. Stuff will come up. But basically, if you don't want to do further investigation, uh, Mudlick Hollow uh, is just like a little dirt road now. Um, at one time, there were a lot of houses on it. It was like a little suburban sort of road. Um, but uh, Calvin, who is my mother's boyfriend, uh, bought a house there with his wife a long time ago, his ex-wife now, of course. Um, and they started to redo the house. Um, you know, like it's got new siding on it, put a new roof on it. But Calvin kept seeing an old man in a rocking chair. Now, neither of them had an old man living with them, and they didn't even own a rocking chair. But on many occasions, he saw an old man in a rocking chair in his living room. Just come around the corner, there he was, and then he would be gone. So, a little creepy, but Calvin doesn't believe in ghosts, so I don't know what Calvin thought, because I didn't get to ask him, but my mom's like, Calvin is stupid, because he should have just ran out of the house. My mother definitely believes in ghosts. So, um, any hoodles, uh, they ended up getting divorced. They moved out of the house. It has been sold twice now and nobody lives in that house. The people move in and they're gone, usually within a month because it's creepy. So that is on like one end of the road. Now Calvin built his own house um, further down the road and as people moved out of the neighborhood and nobody was buying houses, Calvin started buying all these old houses because they were run down, nobody was living in them. And he has started, uh, one of them I know he uses like for storage because it was in fairly decent shape, but the other ones he has slowly but surely leveled, um, just getting rid of the houses because you don't want an abandoned house just sitting there. You know what I mean? It attracts all kinds of nefarious peoples and critters, quite frankly. So, I think now there's only like three people that live out there, um, including Calvin. But the house that's half redone still sits there with nobody in it <laughs> because it's haunted. So any hoodles, um, Calvin and his kids uh, were tearing down one of these abandoned homes um, one day and his son just happened to be taking pictures of it because you know guys, you know, they're like, oh, destruction, let's get the bulldozer out and shove stuff over. I've got to take pictures because, hey, destruction. So he was doing the kind. I can't remember what it's called because you guys know mush brain. Um, but he caught a frame and it's weird. Now, usually when you see any evidence of the paranormal or ghostesses, um, you see orbs. It's almost always orbs, which to me, I'm always like, dust particles, um, whatever. I actually do believe in ghosts. We'll talk about that after a bit. But um, orbs don't impress me, I have to say, uh, because dust particles. Any hoodles, uh, Calvin's son took a picture. One of the frames, he captured this. Okay, so this green, nobody knows what this is because there was nothing green. Like the guys didn't actually see anything, any sort of green Tommyknocker dust or whatever this is. Um, it was just one of the, the frames that he took um, from the burst. That's what it is, from burst. Um, because he is like me, I guess he must probably has the Samsung 7. You can't turn off the burst, so sometimes I press a little too hard because I have an otter box and you have to press a little harder and I'll end up with a burst. And then all of a sudden, you know, I've got 15 pictures when I was wanting to take one. This is one of those. In the burst, 
there's this weirdness happening. So this is the regular photo that my mom texted me. Um, I asked her to, uh, <laughs> because cool, right? Um, this is untouched. So then I put it in Snapseed and brightened it up a little bit. So there, there, it's enhanced a little bit, right? So on my phone where you can make it bigger, you know, like this, there is a face in the middle, or it looks like a face. I don't know. I tried, but you know, I'm not awesome. So one more time, let's zoom in. It's a little pixelated now, I know, but it looks kind of like a face. Um, all right, let's go back to the, to the slightly enhanced one. Okay, so what is this? Is this a ghost? Is this, huh? Is it? Is it a ghost? I don't know. My mother swears it is in fact a ghost. And my mom is creeped out, <laughs> like totally creeped out. So, okay, end photo. Alrighty, so um, like my mom said, she said there's one urban legend that she sort of knew about, but not a lot of haunting. So of course I Googled because hello. Um, there's actually two uh, stories I found. One was a man named Patrick who built a mansion out there for his uh, future wife. Um, and she, before they got married, she tumbled down the stairs and broke her neck, um, which is very sad. But like my mom's like, I don't remember there being a mansion out there. So either the mansion has already been torn down or it's just a house that nobody considers a mansion. I'm not sure. Uh, so there's that one. But the big one, the one that everybody talks about, is the couple um, in their carriage. So a man and a woman had just gotten married. Um, this is back in the 1800s. They had just gotten married, and they were on their way home after the ceremony and the frivolity um, in their carriage, their wagon, with horses, because it was the 1800s. Um, and as they're going down the road, uh, stories vary. One is that they took a wrong turn. The other is that um, a small animal spooked a horse. But whatever happened, there was a carriage wreck. The bride died instantly when her neck broke and the carriage fell upon the groom. So he slowly died beside her uh, from his injuries because Nobody was looking for them because it was after their wedding. So, of course, they were going to go home and do wedding night shenanigans. Um, any hoodles, they say that this is the couple that haunts Mudlick Hollow. Uh, that it's, it's the, the bride and the groom. The fall rolls in and you can hear horses clippity-clopping and then there's a scream and then everything goes silent. Um, according to Calvin and everybody who's actually lived on the road, they've never heard any of this. <laughs> The guy in the rocking chair <laughs> has actually been seen by other people, at least online. I did see one person, apparently whoever lived in that house, before uh, Calvin had bought it to redo it. Um, their grandfather died there, and they think the house is haunted by him. So I don't know. You can do all your own research. Um, but the picture is still a good one. It's the best ghosty picture I've ever seen, quite frankly. So... Woo, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, now, like I told you, uh, I do believe in ghosts. Um, you guys know that I am not uh, religious, as it were. I have no particular religion that I follow. I have my own weird little belief system of things that make sense to me, which is fine. My biggest belief, um, I'm, I guess I fall on the side of science a lot. Um, also recognizing that science does change. Like we learn new things all the time. So nothing is set in stone, I guess, as it were. Um, but I do believe that um, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So I think whatever makes us us, our soul, if you would like to call it that, but our inherent being, when we die, it goes away. I do not know if it goes to heaven um, or whatever place your religion says it will travel on. Maybe you get reincarnated, whatever. Um, my whole thing is that the you, the energy that animates these physical bodies 
doesn't just disappear. There isn't a nothingness after. It goes somewhere. Now, maybe it does get reincarnated and you get renew reused. Maybe it goes to another dimension. I don't know. Maybe you just flitter about through space like stardust. Or maybe you haunt. I don't know. I don't know how the afterlife works. Like, I don't know how the afterlife works because I've never died. So I don't know. I've never been to it. Um, but ghosts, yeah, there are enough people that I love and trust that have seen ghosts, things like ghosts or creepy feelings or just weirdness that, yeah, I believe it. I believe that energy has to go somewhere and maybe sometimes it gets stuck. Maybe it's just a tiny little piece of energy that gets stuck in a repeating pattern. Maybe they're just stuck there. Maybe they chose to haunt just to be creepy. I might do that. I don't know. <laughs> that might be a lot of fun to follow around some of the goth kids and scare the crap out of them. I just said goth kids because they might be the ones hanging out in cemeteries, you know, which are pretty peaceful places, actually. Like I said, I'd have been a goth kid if I was cooler. Um, or just, you know, maybe a jerk. Just somebody that's kind of a douche. Just haunt them randomly, Swayze stuff, and break it just to be annoying. I don't know. That kind of seems like fun. Why not have a fun afterlife? Anyway, um, I'm open to ghosts. I myself don't believe I've ever seen one, but doesn't mean I won't, doesn't mean I'm not open to it. Um, I just think, I thought the picture was cool. Thought you guys, you know, maybe you can share your ghost stories in the comments because those are always super fun to read. I love to read ghost story, stories, you guys, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought some of you might really get a kick out of that. That picture is pretty good though, isn't it? It is, I think it's good. Um, and it's totally Tommy Knocker Green, which is weird. Any hoodles, um, I will see you all tomorrow where you get to pick out the next pair of shoes I buy. Joe totally gave me the okay to get a pair of Chocolaticas, which I've been eyeing for years, um, but he said yes. So I picked out five. And you get to vote because I have that poll thing. So, yay. Okay, um, until then, have a great day. And don't get too scared. I don't think ghosts are out to hurt you, if they are around. Anyways, uh, love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.